Hi, welcome to YC Weekly. I'm your MC, Elliot Kafton. Have you ever witnessed a subway performer not be recognized or appreciated for their craftsmanship? Have you ever been just jamming to your favorite music so hard that you just don't notice life happening around you? Look at this graph. I seriously got cut off for Nickelback. Can I get some appreciation around here? Don't worry, man, I appreciate you. In the New York City subways, busking is the main form of free entertainment one can expect while navigating through this wonderful city. Now, you may be asking yourself, what is busking? Busking is the act of performing music for donations in public, generally on the subway or streets. Many artists use this as a way of gaining exposure and as a way of practicing playing in front of people, which can lead to many great opportunities. Peter James Troy, Sony Records. I really enjoyed what you were playing. It's so original. I, I would like to consider signing you. Thanks, man. How much are we talking? This was not always the case. In 1936, the act of busking was made illegal by former Mayor LaGuardia. This ban was not lifted until 1970. Nowadays, however, many buskers still have stories of complications with the police. It is a common misconception that busking is still illegal. It is perfectly legal to busk on the platform or the mezzanine. Not only do they have run-ins with the authorities, Hey! Hey! You can't do that! Oh! Oh! The commuters often tend to neglect the musicians, which can be extremely discouraging to aspiring artists. Here are some tips when encountering subway buskers. Step one. Take off your headphones. We all know Drake is a great rapper, but he can wait a bit. Step two, it's simple. Listen to the artist. Hearing doesn't necessarily mean you're paying attention. Step three, I'm not saying give every single artist you encounter all your money. A dollar here or there can be nice if you can afford to spare it. Simply showing applause or some form of positive recognition is enough and can really make their day. So, the next time you're waiting for your train and you see someone pouring their heart and soul into a performance, try showing them a little love can really go a long way. Come here, man. Thank you for watching this week's YC Weekly. Be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe, and to follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Cast me far away Play these little